What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of our playthrough of Dead in Bermuda. You know, I'm not really sure if it's going to be a playthrough. We might not make it all the way. Things are looking a little sinister for us right now with regards to our food supply. However, I think if I could put somebody on this, let's also take a look at the new map square. What do you have? Oh, we got a fishing spot! But we don't have a fishing pole, right? Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. We can have somebody search it though. Why not send... We need somebody stealthy to go out here. Send somebody stealthy. I'm sure she'll be okay. Skill check. Failed it. Getting bit in the face by a monster bat with kelp for hair. But it only did one damage, so that's pretty cool. You swim right above the center of the bubbles and take a dive. Passing through seaweeds, you move your hands frenetically on the seafloor, hoping to grab something. You swim back to surface, almost out of breath, holding something in your hand. Alas, you scared all the juicy fishes away in the process. Oh, balls. I didn't know that could happen. Oh, dude, the fish come back, right? Oh, no. I got a tablet. I mean, that'll be pretty sweet if we wanted to play ourselves some Flappy Bird or maybe jump into some Fallout Shelter, but that's not going to help much. Oh, man, the battery going to run out in like five minutes. You know it is. Balls. This is my life. Oh, look, she got a level up. Hooray. I should probably work on her knowledge skills and make her better at knowledge ability and doing fun things, right? So with mental abilities, we can go with discussion, we can make her better at medicine, we can make her better at knowledge. She has been doing a lot of research lately, but it begs the question, what's going to happen when we run out of research? Because there's only so much. I think discussion skills might not be terrible for her. However, given the fact that the majority of her skills seem to be relegated, she seems to be really, really good at healing people. We don't have the healing skill, though. Let's just go with knowledge, since she's doing a lot of research. I want her to be better at knowledge, and that'll knock off some of the deficiencies that we have when it comes to getting things done. And once her knowledge gets up to, like, a more suitable level, it'll help us research faster. Everybody else is looking pretty good right now. Nobody else needs to finish anything else off. For right now, Bob and I think we're definitely going to have to leave somebody on gathering. I'm going to leave exploration alone for right now and put people on harvesting. Do they get along, or do they even know each other? So they will get two to five fruits right now based on what they have going on is that due to the fact that he's bad at harvesting and she's good he's done so maybe swap them in will that make it better that'll give us three to six but in order to make this work we need a lot more fruit like we need a ton of fruit to get this done so her fatigue is at 21 percent who's best at gathering right now is that like all that we have on the gathering skills so Alejandro, harvesting, he's okay at harvesting, but everybody actually seems to be kind of lukewarm at it. So it won't really matter. I think that's probably done as a gameplay nerf to make sure that you don't harvest too much fruit while you're out and about. I think it might be a good idea to throw some of these guys back on building the new thingamadoobie. Even if their fatigue is a little bit high, I would prefer that we get this done sooner rather than later. So that we can gather more wood and possibly gather other good things along the way. So there it is. That should give them 1.5% efficiency. So that'll be good. Let's continue next. On his side. One scavenging skill for our big guy. One wood. One rope. One painkiller. Three barely edible stuff and two fruits. And some ginseng juice. That's an odd thing to find on a plane. Somebody gave me a ginseng candy one time when I was a little kid because my mom was bit my mom went to this Vietnamese nail parlor basically and she was friends with everybody there. She still is to this day. She's been going there for 20 years and she loves that place. Like she loves everybody that works there. They chat, they get along. I like a one hour nail appointment somehow turns into like a two or three hour appointment. Not so much anymore now that she's working full time as an RN again. But that was like one of her main things that she enjoyed doing during the week was going and getting her nails done and just talking with the Vietnamese lady that she's I don't honestly know her name. My mom knows her name, and she's best friends with everybody down there, but... Anyways, what was I getting at right now? Oh, yeah. The owner gave me a ginseng candy one time, because I was a kid, and I was there with my mom, just, like, reading a book while she got her nails done. And ginseng candy is brutally disgusting. I hate to be that guy right now, but it is the worst. I don't know how it even qualifies as candy. It is apparently an acquired taste that I have yet to acquire. That's all that I can really say about it. I'm probably going to keep everybody right where they're at for right now, except for Yuri... We use him a lot for scavenging. I do wish that he got more skill points. It is unfortunate. I don't want to spread points around too much on people, though. I'd really prefer to stay... 
kind of relegated to certain things that you can get done here. He's not that good at fighting. It would take a lot of points to get him to a point where he is. So I think I'm going to keep him... It said that he's good at fishing. He's okay at harvesting, too. He's good at cooking as well. It might not be a bad idea to give him harvesting skills and start making him our harvesting guy because his scavenging skill is about to run out and he doesn't have any of the support skills required in order to make his scavenging better than average. And so you have to make a stealth check every time you go out to scavenge. So you might as well work on harvesting and maybe make him better at that. And then he's good at cooking too. So maybe that'll work out for us. I don't know. I just don't know. He doesn't really build relationships very well either, given his hulking physique. You'd think he'd be good at building just about anything, but contrary to what you might believe. Next turn, he found five drugs? Well, there you go. What do you need? All you need is heroin. We found ourselves a nice little syringe over here, although he is depressed from looking at dead guys. You'd figure we could circumnavigate that by burying some fools, but I guess not. We tried burying Jake, and it didn't seem to make anybody feel better, so ah, what are you going to do? Science, it doesn't work the way you think it would. She got one knowledge on that side. A little bit of research done. Ah, we can go fishing. We can make a fishing rod. Not that difficult to make, but making a good fishing rod, especially since we're ocean fishing right now, I'd say that you should spearfish in this situation. You should have, oh, I should have moved her to something else, balls. I, in my opinion, my humble opinion, in this situation, I personally would just have people learn how to spearfish because that's the best way to fish out here anyways. If you can find some rubber, you can actually spring fish, which is the same way Japanese fishermen do it. And also, so too, do Hawaiian fishermen and other Polynesian fishermen. Essentially, all you need is a big rubber band that goes around your elbow, and you wrap it around, you cock it back, and it spring loads the spear in your hand so that you just let go of it, and it launches the spear in a straight line, and it'll get the fish for you, and then you just reel them back in. And there are guys that can do that for eight, nine hours a day, just kind of... Going through the reefs with a spear, just firing the spear at fish. And they'll bring back insane catches. There have been guys that have been doing that. Not net fishing, just spear fishing with their families for 600, 700 years. It's a fantastic skill. I'd focus on that, either that or net fishing. Because the problem is with a fishing pole, tidal fishing with a fishing pole is not that good unless you've got a lagoon or a lake. So personally, I would go with one of the ancestral sort of old school methods, which is either you can fish along the shore using a net, I don't know how to do that very well. You would probably want to talk to somebody in your group that has experience with it. Or you could spearfish, which is actually pretty intuitive once you get the hang of it. I'd probably go for that before net fishing. If you don't have a net anyways, it's not a big deal. So, Julia, you come from Russia, right? What do you do for a living up there? That's none of your business, and it doesn't matter anymore anyways. Wow, it was just a simple question. It's important that we know a bit about everybody in the group. We need to trust each other. Or maybe we shouldn't. Why? Do you know something? Do you think that the crash was provoked by somebody here? Everything is possible, even that you did it. How dare you? I can't believe my ears. Touchy subject, huh? You didn't do it, but calm yourself down. It sure looks like you did when you get angry so quick. God. You were getting all grumpy in here. Get along, you mooks. It figures we get the most opinionated, grumpy people on the planet. So we have enough food to feed everybody this time around. We also found some beef jerky, which is pretty dope. We don't have the means to, like, cook anything yet, but I'm hoping we'll find it down the line. Let's go ahead and give her the shitty food, because she's depressed, and obviously nothing fixes a depression like shitty food. Mmm, delicious shitty food. So for you, we need three fruits. For you, we would need three as well. For you, we need three. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to touch everybody off right now and hope that we get a good roll. For the people that are really up there, I'm going to use a good meal on her. And then today... Let's go 15-sies on him. And then for the day, I think we'll probably edge his hunger off, but I'll probably turn a lot of that fruit into useful stuff. The fire intensity is going down. I need to pay attention. I bet that's like the big thing that I have not been paying attention to. I should probably stay on that. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some more fire intensity. And they need to get the wood pile done soon. Are they going to get it done today? Hopefully. Because we need food by tomorrow. These guys both look like they may be leveled up. Yeah, he at level three, so that'll be nice. I will probably have him work on... He's got hunting and fishing all nice and dead bang. He's also got okay knowledge skills. Weirdly enough, he's okay at research. So it probably would have been a better use to use him for the other stuff. 
But for right now, I've been using him mostly for crafting. So I'm going to keep him going along that front, and that'll even out his negatives. So he's basically neutral at crafting now. For you, sir, you're dumb and lazy, but don't let it be known. Oh, wow, you're not that good at crafting either. You're pretty good at fishing, though. Ah, well, let's even you out for right now. That'll be the last points. Eh, I'll probably give, take him up to maybe 56 or 60. And then after that, I'll start working on other things with him. He's not dexterous, which is an interesting thing to think about as well. I need you to stay on the, sh the plane. Just keep pulling stuff out of there. We need stuff out of that wreckage, like, right this second. Over here, she can go explore a bit, I think. So just let her do her thing. I'll probably have her explore randomly. I mean, I don't really care what she discovers. Just let her discover stuff. And on this side, we're going to keep them harvesting because we need that food. Right now, we're kind of at a dead period as far as our supplies go. So it's important to keep it going. It's getting to the point where that's not even worth the effort anymore. There it is. So we got the crafting table done. So now we should have gathering tools around. And I don't know if that's going to tap into harvesting skills or how that's going to work. But I'm going to give them a break from here on in before they work themselves to death over here our research has gone up by 22 percent into whatever the next thing is that we're working on they appear to be getting stuff done right there we may need to give people a day off from here on in he hit level two his harvesting's looking pretty good so is hers they got seven fruit a free constitution right there so long as they don't fight we should be good and so there it is they're not fighting and they're becoming friends that'll be nice she managed to explore the jungle a little bit further and found a new area i don't really care where she goes not a big deal to me right now she can just continue wandering around for you sir for you sir your skills i think are going to be best applied let's go all in on harvesting right now i think this is going to be something that we're going to lean on pretty heavily from here on in does this use harvesting as well it uses scavenging so that's something that we could put a couple new people into. With her, I think we need to keep her moving with our hunger just to stay on top of it. I'm going to have them build over here. I need you guys. Oh, they already did that. Okay, so they're going to be exhausted. Let's take them off this way. We're going to have them take a nap because they're both dead bang right now. They're not going to be able to get shit done. He, how tired are you, sir? Your depression's a little bit high, but your fatigue is not that bad. You know, I'm going to take you off of it for right now. And let's put you on... Focus on gathering. We can do medicine or no particular focus. We can just get, like, everything right now. I think we need wood because our fire's about to go out. Is she good at scavenging? No, she's not. She's 40. He's 47. We'll leave that alone for right now because I think I want to focus on food. And I think we'll get a little bit of wood from right there. How's the intensity? It's at 55%. All right, hopefully we get wood today. If we do, I think I'll probably take her off research for right now because she's kind of tired. And then we'll just end the turn. One knowledge right there. She hit level 2 finally. Very, very good. She does not level up rapidly. Everybody else has leveled up multiple times in the amount of time it took her to level up once. So I'm kind of wondering if different tasks give you different amounts or how that works. His laziness has come to bear right there so we should be able to get something done five fruit so that puts us 12 up for the day how are we looking on water right now i forgot to look at it scavenging right there he got five wood so that should allow us to stoke the flame a little bit better and her exploring she found another tile so that'll be good it's been a week since you know yeah between you and me, if you had asked me whether we would survive a week after the day we crashed, I, I'm not sure how I would have answered. Why the long faces? That's good news, though, right? We should celebrate. Maybe cook some sort of cake. Happiness does not depend on outward things, but on the way that we see them. Yes. Let's have a cake. And maybe we can offer each other presents, too. Stupid little girl, it's a miracle you survive with this level of carelessness. If I was her dad, I'd clip this dude already. This dude would be done. Stop it, Jacob. You can think what you want, but have some respect for a child. Stop considering me a child. I can take care of my own, too, and I think keeping our morale up is as important as finding food. That's absolutely 100% correct. Once again, in a survival situation, it's a huge portion, just like with running or working out, a huge portion of this task is mental. If you give up mentally, you're going to give up physically. And so I agree with her. It's actually a really, really good idea to set up some kind of morale-boosting activity. Even if it's just throwing rocks into the water, into their, you know, setting yourself up, I don't know, a shuffleboard or anything, you know? Like, it's the kind of thing where you should really focus on that. It's a good thing. 
You can make a backgammon set with rocks. You know, it's not hard to make. All it takes is one person who knows how to play backgammon and it's an ancient game. You don't know the first cause of death for lost people is suicide, right? Alright, let's calm down everybody. We're all a bit tense. Let's sleep it over and continue the best that we can. God damn, people in here getting us all kinds of problems. So everybody just fighting, hating each other. Loverly. And his depression, we were working on that and we're relying on him right now. Shit. Well, let's work on hunger for a little while. Her hunger's looking a little bit high. We do have a beef jerky ration, so that'll help out with that. Let's go a couple in right there. We'll even everybody out the best we can, down to like 5%. But at a certain point, I'm going to have to sit down here and turn some of this into water supplies. We're not staying ahead of it very well, so let's leave that where it's at. Water supplies are down to 9, so we're hurting right there. I do think today is going to have to be a very productive scavenging day. Otherwise, eh, might get a little rough for us. So he's focusing on wood. That's going to be important because the fire is looking iffy right here. Let's get that stock back up to something. So there it is. We got a real fire running now. On this side, I need people to keep scavenging, and we also need to risk whatever it is that we need to risk out here. A cute animal. We can hunt it or we can make friends with it. Food supply. Let me look at the other tile first before we decide what we're going to do there. We have a hanged body. Jesus. The number 12 written on him. I guess we'll search the body. I don't know. Let's see if maybe she can sneak in. Failed the stealth check, so we got attacked by a goat. <laughs> so random. Just walking through the jungle like, ah, goat jungle! Or <laughs> jungle goat. <laughs> Just get whacked. I'm like, oh god, my hip! Why, goat jungle? Why? As you cut the rope, the body hits the ground, revealing a swarm of maggots jumping out the clothes right into you. You can't avoid swallowing many worms, making you puke all you have. You struggle with frenzy for a long while, even after you're rid of them all. We got a cursed fiance's ring and a ruby necklace for fabric. Okay. It's an odd thing to have found. How is your fatigue, sir? Depression is pretty bad as well. He's going to need a go at the round table today, I think. So let's sit him over here. I don't know who else is depressed, but it needs to be handled. So let's maybe take her off exploration for right now and have her talk with her husband. She actually leveled up, so let's take the info right here. It with her skill sets. She's getting a lot of points, but I think... Let's take her up on knowledge, I guess. That sounds good. And so she's getting knowledge efficiency now. I was going to work on the medic to get discussion skills up next so that she could actually act as like the camp psychiatrist as well after this is all done and over with. But I'm waiting on her level ups for right now, so we'll wait and see what happens right there. What's our next research getting done? We're at 38%. We can't really see. It's just kind of, it pops in. Okay. Well, we'll leave things where they're at for right now. We don't really have much of an option. Do we have anybody that's better at harvesting? No, he's not very good at it. I think big guy was good at harvesting too though, right? Let's, let's just wait and see here. Oops, my water supplies are critically low. Apparently I need to work on that. Let's go ahead and convert that over so that we have four days worth left now. So in the morning, we got some research done. Fatigue's hanging in there. Depression did not go down a whole lot from that. So unfortunately, I think we're going to have to leave him there for a while before we can fix that up. Their relationship is pretty strong to begin with. Her fatigue is back down into acceptable levels now. And his is almost non-existent. So that'll be really, really good. Six fruit from there. So that's 30% hunger done away with. Her fatigue is getting critically high right now. So we need to put her in over here for him, possibly. Now that Bob's over here, are you any good at that? You got 34 harvesting. I guess it's better than nothing. How are we looking right now? Two to five? Eh. 
Food supplies are looking nasty at the moment. I'm not sure what I think about this. Winters is ready to jump back in here, but Winters is pretty good at discussion. No, she's not. Never mind. Let's bring her back over for research, I guess, and we'll just keep on trucking. That's about, I mean, we don't really have a whole lot of other options right now. So let's say that we try to tame the animal. What does that require? It looks like it requires stealth and fighting in some way. Versus hunting the animal. Which I assume will take hunting, which we've got 84 of, which means he's got a really, really good chance to bring this one home. As much as I'd like a friendly... I mean, the thing is, the long-term benefits of having a pet is that it might catch things that we can use as food later on, and so the short-term benefit of killing it... Our chance is just a 50-50, though, whereas if we have almost a guarantee chance to kill it... I don't know. We don't really have anything to offer it, either. What if it eats extra food every day? Hmm. This time around, I think we're going to hunt it. Let me see if the info menu has anything for us. A cute little animal is standing in front of you alone. He doesn't notice your presence yet, and he's peacefully eating some plants on the ground. So if I try to make friends with him, it looks like fighting and stealth goes into it, maybe. Or maybe you got to sneak up on him and grab him, possibly. Her stealth is pretty good. It's still only like a 60-40, though. God, I love cute animals. I'm so conflicted right now. We're like on the edge of starving, but we're almost out of food. But like, I really love... Let's try and let's try and tame it. Ileana, you want to tame an animal? Let's be friends. <gasps> you approach the little animal cautiously with some plants in hand that he seemed to be enjoying. You manage to get very close. You start petting him on the head, but suddenly he freezes, bites your hand, and then runs away in the bushes. You little bitch. I hate you. This is what I get for being a sucker. This is what I get for being a sucker. Damn it, I should have stabbed the little bastard in the face. I knew it. Maybe he'll come back later, though. I don't know. I'm just hoping for the best at this point. It's all I have. It's all I have. Leave me alone. Leave me to my misery. So... Since we've got somebody else in here who's doing a pretty good job... Of talking. I'm gonna take Ileana out real fast and see if maybe the combined efforts of all these people will make his depression go away faster. His depression is an issue right now. Like, his depression is hardcore at the moment. Like, I think I'll probably keep exploration going to just explore randomly. Whatever, it's all good. You can just wander around. No complaints from me in the peanut gallery. Can we hunt the big spiders? He's got 84. Let's hunt the spiders. Dun 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 failed the skill check, so he's gonna take a monster. Ow! A double-headed bunny! It bit me in the dick! The spiders are huge, they bite you, but you have the last chew. Yeah, we got seven fresh meat. The fresh meat, no. We eat it with our face. We can't cook it though over the fire. That's the part that confuses me. Is that the fresh meat is not actually so useful as it sounds. We have six food right now. I'll probably leave the water supplies alone for a minute. I think you probably have to research like a cooking station or something before you can actually cook food. Which is disappointing, but... Ah well, what are you gonna do? Fatigue is up a little ways. But his discussion level has gone up, so that'll be nice. I think discussion only affects your own depression. It doesn't really affect anything else. She was a gymnast, so she gets agility skills, so the Russian is a gymnast. Working with stereotypes here, aren't we? God. On this side, fatigue looking a little bit better so that it's not quite so fatal. They're both getting along, which is good. On this side, we got four more fruits. It's not much, but... It's something. We'll make it work, and they appear to be getting along. She, meanwhile, has continued to explore a little bit better, but it's getting pretty far away right now, so she might not be able to get something every single turn. You don't eat? Useless parasite. No. Not today, thank you. He eats less than a top model. It's scary. There's still some left, you know. You can have your fair share. I'll cut you into steaks if I can. No, really, I'll, I'll go to sleep early. What a weirdo. He won't last long. What a useless blob. He won't last long. 
They lost opinion even though they were getting along? Man, people not getting along right now. This is troublesome. Hunger's jumping up pretty nasty too. Oof. Has a chance of making you sick if you eat that over there. We need to come up with a food supply pretty soon. We've got enough water to last a while, so I'm just going to keep this edged off for right now. The people who are staying low, I'm going to let them stay low. Like, as long as they're kind of in the green, I feel okay about it. And that puts everybody eh, kind of where we want them to be. I don't know. We seem to be doing okay. I hope that doesn't rot, though. Like, we have all that meat, and it's such a disappointment that we can't cook it. Like, why can't you just roast it over a fire? We also don't have the doctor station, so that's going to be the next part. Fire intensity is down, so unfortunately we have to deal with that. His depression is still a pretty major issue. I probably should have thought about that before I allowed him to rack it on up. Rack city, bitch. Rack, rack city, bitch. Unfortunately, we have a problem. His discussion skills are not strong. His scavenging skills are even worse. What about you? Can you do anything better over here? Since we're doing the exploration anyways, we might as well let him go for it. Should have stabbed that little critter, although we would have gotten more fresh meat that's just going to rot off anyways. What are you going to do? She can gather for a bit because we need to focus on wood, so gather wood if you can. we got to stoke the flame. It's down a little bit. On this side, he's exhausted. But he's not really getting anything done conversationally either. Who's got bad depression? Alejandro does. Alejandro is also tired. I feel like we're probably going to catch a problem over here. When it comes to gathering food. We need it badly and yet I can't seem to get ahead of the curve. We're almost there with whatever comes next. I'm hoping it's a cook fire or something. A little bit of depression down. Discussion went up for her. That goes down right there. Okay, looking a little bit better. Harvesting skill went up. She got level 2. I'm going to try and focus really, really heavily on harvesting right now if I can. They got along while doing that task, which is a plus. Three wood gathered from right there. And then he probably managed to find something out there. We'll take a look at the event in just a minute. Okay, so what happened with our food on this side? Did it rot? Yeah, it did. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about people getting sick is the problem. We don't have a lot of medicinal herbs. I suppose I could gather medicinal herbs using the gathering station, but I don't know. I'm going to ponder it for a little bit. My name is Splattercat. This is Dead in Bermuda. I will see you all later. Hi, do everybody.